What have we here? A new recruit? You too. My name's Gina Sage. I guess this means I'm your senior in ad libitum. I can see the resemblance with Rain. You're her spitting image. You think so? Well, anyway, try to live up to your duties as a member of ad libitum. Right. Precocious little punk, ain't he? Hey, you just thought big mouth for a little kid, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> of course not. Kratos has given you his seal of approval, hasn't he? Darn right. Kratos doesn't care about my age. He respects my abilities. Then hold your head up high. You're just projecting your own insecurities about your age onto other people. It's true I'm biologically still a child, but that's it. I want people to forget about age and just see me as a person. You've just got to have a little confidence. You're our senior, aren't you? Huh. Hey. Yeah, I am. So, you're the new recruits, huh? I'm Reed Herschel. Nice to meet you. I'm Mormo, and that's my partner. Okay. Uh... What? Really? I guess I don't meet a lot of new people. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. Well, I'm a hunter by trade. No hobbies to speak of, except maybe watching the clouds go by. Does that work? I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Yeah, now we've got more than just a name and a face. Thanks. Sure. I'll see you around. So you're the fresh meat, huh? Fresh meat? Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Huh? This isn't some kind of pet? So what? Are you just tagging along? I'm not a pet. My name's Mormo. This is my partner. What? Not you too. <laughs> nice. You're silly. I'm Arche. Believe it or not, I'm pretty good with magic. Just leave the spell casting to me. I don't know. Oh well. Useless or not, it's nice to meet you. Come see me anytime. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? Want me to sing you a song? Thanks, Chester. A song, huh? Okay. Let me just uh, <clears throat> do some warm-up exercises. Uh, me, 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 me. Um, Chester? What do you want? You're smothering her, man. Look, you've got her all startled. Really? Not really. <laughs> there, you hear that? Look, here's two gold. Now run along. <laughs> Woohoo! Could you make it any less? And keep your money. Listen, I'm just saying, from where I stand, from what I've seen, you're getting creepy. Is it really that bad? <laughs> Thanks for breaking it to me gently. See? Uh, but Chester, I do appreciate you looking out for me. It's just that I... You do? Well, there you have it. Then I guess there's nothing anyone else can say about it. Ugh. Oh, and there he goes again. Hello, Kratos. It's you. Nice day, huh? Indeed. <sighs> this conversation isn't going anywhere. Ugh, <sighs> oh, this is so painful. You're not much for conversation, are you, Kratos? Needless chatter clouds the mind. Nurturing one's inner calm through silence leads to strength. Understood? Uh... You can respond, you know. Yes, sir. <sighs> uh, hey there. Huh? What do you want? I'm Mormo, and this is my partner. We're with Ad Libidum. I asked what you wanted with me. If you don't need something, then go away. Would it kill you to introduce yourself? I've been wondering about you. <sighs> My name is Senel, and I'm looking for someone. You will? But your leader just turned me down. He said we couldn't help out as an organization, but he doesn't mind us helping on a personal level. Ah, thanks. I'm looking for my little sister. <laughs> well, let's get to it. Right. I'm new to town, so I wasn't sure I could find her here on my own. We're not exactly natives either. 
But hey. All right, leave it to us. Haha, <laughs> I just set a new all-time record for number of monsters taken down. Well, I only kill what I can eat, so my head count may not be that high, but... <laughs> I guess that means I win. Hey, now wait a minute. If I tried, I'm sure I could get as many as... What are you two getting all riled up about? Lloyd here wants to compete over how many monsters we've beaten. It's not much of a competition, really. I told you! Let's start counting from here and see what happens! <laughs> Children. What? Come on! That many kills means I'm pretty darn good, wouldn't you say? It may be a source of experience and confidence, but fighting is not a game. Forget that, and you won't live long. Nice? What part of that was nice? Kratos is worried for you, too. He doesn't want to see you get caught up in competing and hurt yourselves. <sighs> yeah, let's forget about it. Guess we don't have much choice. Hey, how about an eating contest? Like I'd stand a chance at that. Okay, then how about we do something more like... Hmm. I suppose chasing after one's peers in the pursuit of strength is another one of the joys of youth. Huh? Hey, it's those people we saw before! Oh. What the hell are you, one of the locals? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm with Ad Libitum here. Who are you two? My name is Tyr. This is the person I'm traveling with. Hey, what's with the lame introduction? Surely you can do better than that. Something like, the noble aristocrat you see here before you is... Aristocrat? I'd caution you against mentioning your status so casually. <laughs> You're no fun at all. Anyway, I'm Luke. Nice to meet you. So, why are you two being chased? We arrived in this town after running into a spot of trouble. We didn't know the town was closed off, or that outsiders would be met with such suspicion. How did you get in with the town being closed off? Well, we... Teleported. What? Huh? <sighs> well, anyway, you've asked Ad Libitum to take you in, right? Yes. Your organization was formed to help the townspeople, correct? We're very much in your debt. We're working hard to make this a town where people can walk around freely. Bear with us until then, okay? Yeah, any day now would be great. Man, am I bored. So you were shipwrecked? That must have been awful. Yeah, that was the last I saw her. Hey, Arche! Senel! What's going on? He was telling me his troubles. I figured maybe I could help. That was nice of you. So did you get him to describe his little sister to you? Little sister? Wait, do you mean like that kind of little sister? I don't know what other kind of little sister there is, but yeah. What, you hadn't heard? I've heard now. You too, huh? Just what we need here. Another sister-obsessed perv. <laughs> Ugh, I swear, I will never understand men. Wh what do you mean, me too? Is there someone else here looking for their sister? Is that a problem? Do what you want. Little sisters are all the rage these days. Everyone's gotta have a sister. What was that about? Just ignore her. Hi, guys. Hey, Mormo. Boy, today's a scorcher. No kidding. Hey, let's all go down to the river and play after this. Oh, nice! Don't come crying to me if you slip and get carried away again. Hey, that's right! I remember that. Yeah, Rain just sat there and watched. She was pale as a ghost. What? You just watched a student drown? I felt there was little risk of harm in barely knee-deep water. Then Lloyd's face was all bugged out and serious. Man, that was hilarious! Yeah, no kidding. He just kept looking back and forth at us and laughing his head off. I thought it was beyond the pale, even if he is my brother. <laughs> Oops. I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, be careful playing around the water just the same. Right. You can't forget to stretch first or to have grown-ups around that you can actually count on. Hey! hey. <laughs> 
childhood friends, huh? Must be nice. Hey, Mr. Fearless Ad Libitum Leader. Yes? Ad Libitum is like a bunch of handymen, right? I could help out if you want it. One must pass a test of abilities to enter the guild. There's no use taking on dead weight, you know. What? You calling me dead weight? How about you just take a look at this? Luke, stop it. We're in public. Shut up. You stay out of the way. Demon Fist! Bang Blade! <sighs> Havoc Strike! Had enough yet? No? Swallow Fury! Hmm. <laughs> well, did you catch all of that? You move more fluidly than I'd have thought, but... But what? Your techniques lack weight. Fighting against air is pointless. It's as if you've completely ignored the target's mass. What the hell are you talking about? You haven't much experience in killing. No, taking lives, have you? Ugh. He saw right through you. I thought I told you to shut up. If you still want to enlist, I'll give you a test. One suited for a beginner. What? Make fun of me, will you? Come on, let's go. You still need a lot of training. Hey, let go of me! Damn it, I won't forget this! The weight of a life. No one should have to know such a burden. All right, let's get this out and settled. Looks like there's no avoiding it. I'm ready. Are you sure you are? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? You ready? Yup. Then it's on. Rain, you're up first. What kind of guy do you like? I... I'd want someone open-minded, intelligent, but still sincere. Someone who'd look past our little differences. Because men like that totally exist. And what little differences? You mean like race? I think I've given sufficient detail. Kanono? Well, I've never really thought about it. Someone nice to me, I guess. You mean like Chester? What? No, I think Chester is nice to me for another reason. Something else. Oh, of course he is. You can never tell what that creep is thinking. Just ignore him. Pretend he doesn't exist. Your cover-ups really do leave something to be desired. You're not stupid, but you're certainly obvious. W whatever do you mean? I'm not covering anything up. That's crazy. Huh? It's your turn, Arche. Or shall I just cut to the chase and name him for you? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong, Genus? Nothing. Splendid. Rain, you say something? Uh, no, no, she didn't say a thing. Not a thing. The ruins. They're calling me. Dee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, ow! It hurts! Hey, sis, my uh, stomach! It hurts real bad! Huh? Genus, what's with the act? Rain, I'm dying here! Huh? Genus, are you alright? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have brought you. Uh, um, I'm fine now. Thanks, sis. Anyway, let's hurry up and finish this job. Let's take care of it and head back to town ASAP. I, I suppose you're right. Let's move along. Phew, that was too close. What in the world was all that? Rain's whole personality changes when she lays eyes on ruins like this. Then there's no getting anything done. That's the whole reason Kratos has her stuck behind a desk back home. What, was there some trouble with that in the past? A couple of times, she up and forgot about her work and just flitted out of town for days on end. I mean, she always brought back some new discovery with her, but still. Right now, we have a job to do. I had to do something to get her to snap out of it. A whole different rain, huh? I can't tell if I'm curious or afraid. <laughs> what you doing? Actually, wait. Judging from your face, I probably don't want to know. Something smells good around here.
It's coming from over here! Over here? Oh, Senel! What are you doing? It's him! Oh, man! It smells so good I could just jump on him! What? Get off me! Senel smells good. Are you carrying something? Just this. A basket? Take a look inside. Whoa! It's a mountain of fresh bread! Senel, did you bake all this? Yeah, I can make these things anywhere I can find an oven. They sure do look good. <sighs> really, really good. Fine, take what you want. Really? Thanks! Then I'll snag this one and this one. <laughs> it was either that or have him follow you around all day, huh? I'm out of here. What a nice guy. It sure was. You're done? Anybody who can bake bread this tasty must be a good person. I guess you're right. I hope we can help him out. Okay, time to return the favor. I'm gonna go see what I can do. Reed's a pretty good guy, too. So, you grew up with rain, right, Lloyd? Yeah, what about it? Oh, no, I, I just mean... I was wondering if you've ever, you know, thought about your longtime friend, you know, like that? What? Well, what are you, crazy? Hey, hey, don't get all angry. You don't have to try and hide it. There's nothing to hide. Aw, oh, nothing at all? I didn't know you were still such a kid. Well, I mean, I guess a little. <laughs> then listen close. I found a lookout point with the hottest view in town. Hottest view in town? Shh, keep your voice down, you idiot. There's no telling what the girls would do to us if they found out. I smell mischief. A word of warning, boys. We can all hear you. Ugh. Wait, let, let us, us explain. explain. No. no. Voyeurism is despicable. <laughs> I get to see Rain's chest anytime I want. I'm not showing them to any of you. I, I, I wouldn't want to see them anyway. I, I was framed. Hey, it's Chester and, um, Senel, right? Oh, it's you guys. Yeah, I was just listening to his story. Right. He's looking for his sister. Exactly. Sounds like he's having a pretty rough time of it. <sighs> it's my job as a member of Ad Libitum to help those in need. I'll do what I can. Reliable as always, Chester. That's great. I'm off to take a look around and see what I can find. So you told him you're looking for your sister? Yeah, then he just got all friendly and offered to help me out. He's just that kind of guy. That kind of guy, huh? Well, whatever. As long as he's willing to help. I get this a lot. Your sword work is all your own style, right? Yeah. I didn't really learn from anyone else, so I guess you'd call it that. I didn't learn any of my techniques from set form, so when Kratos points out a flaw, I never know what to do. I know what you mean. You just know that if someone comes at you like, nya, you counter it like, nya. Wait, like, nya? See, I'd counter that like, wacha. Wacha? What the heck is that? Well, what the heck is nya? <clears throat> maybe having your own style has its limits. Yeah, maybe so. But it's because you have your own style that nobody can read your next move, right? Hey, you're right. All right, I'm feeling confident again. It's welling up like whoa inside me. See, it's like a ha huh? inside me. I'm so lost. Hmm? Reed and Genus? What are you two up to? Yeah, Squirt here was feeling down about his size, so I was giving him some advice. Reed's solution being eat, eat, eat. Ugh, I can't take another bite. What, is that all you've got? Mind if I eat the rest? Why are you asking? You already are. Maybe, but Reed looks pretty slim to me. Yeah, I'm not too worried. All this fuel just to get you through the day? Well, at any rate, overeating isn't good. All right, 
Let's go get some exercise. Now we're talking. This is what I wanted to hear. Okay, first we go out hunting and run our prey around. Uh-huh. Then come back here, cook it up real nice, and... There's more eating? Something wrong with that? Forget I asked. I hate the musty smell in this place. Rain, what are you doing huffing this horrible air? I'm filling my lungs with the ancient wisdom of this place. How can you call this musty? Huh? This place was created to protect us from evil. It's the very cornerstone of our existence today. You would call that crystal of bottomless wisdom musty? Huh? What? What's with you, Rain? It was humans who let this place get musty. Fools who can't appreciate greatness when they see it. I don't know about... I mean, you're right. Right as rain. <laughs> smile and nod, Mormo. Just smile and nod. Now come, join me in bathing in the glorious legacy of the ancients. <laughs> I've heard of loving something to death, but rain seems to love ruins to weirdness. Wow, that sounds pretty intense. Right? But get this, I come back, and the trap's empty. It just ate the bait and left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? What's so funny? We're both hunters, you know? Seeing a place like this makes you want to get out there and hunt again. We were just trading old stories. Huh. So why don't you guys go hunt, then? Don't be stupid. Our work here comes first. He's right. We'll have time to relax after we freed Eye Lily. Once that's done, though, we're definitely going hunting. A hunting partner doesn't sound half bad. You're on. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. Someone with the same weird hobby as me. What? I think it's a great hobby. You're weird. Well, I guess I am too, but... <sighs> What are you two up to? We're watching the clouds go by. You mean you're watching. Stan's asleep. <laughs> what? He... And here I thought I'd found someone with the same weird pastime. <laughs> Did he just snork? Ooh, I slept great. <laughs> Reed, man, you've got great hobbies. Thanks. We'll have to do this again. Anytime, buddy. Hey, Kratos, you seem a little on edge. It's not like you. That's because... Kratos, you have to let me go. I promise I'll bring Kanona home, even if it costs me my life, I swear. Out of the question. I won't have you going anywhere. Why not? If I don't... If I don't help her... Your life means just as much to me as Kanono's. I have no intention of allowing you to lose your life, even if you would throw it away to bring her back. <sighs> Kratos is just worried about you. I know that. You are not to take any independent action. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Trust me. Trust your peers here. <sighs> Hi there. <sighs> um, hello? I'm Mormo. <laughs> uh... Right. Okay, that does it. We just came by to introduce ourselves. What's with the attitude? I'm Leon. Happy now? Leon, huh? So, uh... Don't get the wrong idea. I played along so you'd leave me in peace. We're done here. What? What's that jerk's problem? I guess if he's with Ad Libitum too, we've got to learn to put up with him, but still... Hey, you new in town? Yeah, we just got here from I Lily. Oh, so you two are the ones Ston mentioned. Mormo, was it? Right, that's us. <laughs> I didn't know we were so famous. 
I'm Ruti Katreya. Stan and I go way back. Well, if there's anything you need, just come talk to me. Especially if you've got info on anything that smells like money. What's the matter? Bashful around pretty girls? <laughs> wow, she seems really nice. Oh, also, I work here, so be sure to drop by whenever you can. Oh, really? Will you give us the VIP treatment? Sure, if you spend enough. Talk about a one-track mind. Well, it's time to get back to work for me. I'll be seeing you around, right? She seemed a little strange. I wonder if she's all there. Hi there, I'm Mormo, and this is my partner. Oh, right. You're the people Stan mentioned. The ones from Ad Libidum and I, Lily. I'm Natalie. Pleased to meet you. So, tell us a little about yourself, Natalie. Well, let's see. I'm pretty good with a bow. And cooking, too. You'll see pretty soon. Nice! I can't wait! Come by and see me anytime. Hey! It's Leon and Stan. What? Like this? That grip won't get you through a real battle. Tighten up your pinky and keep it towards you. I've been thinking. Even if you show me how to hold it in one hand, it's not like I can do that with my sword. Then use a one-handed sword. Uh, that's kind of missing the point. Me and him? His form was so sloppy I had to step in and correct it. Who's sloppy? You. I just said so. <laughs> you sure look like friends. We're, We're not, not friends. friends. They're like an old couple. Wow, that book you're reading looks hard. I don't think I've ever seen writing that small before. It's an exploratory text on the golden ratio. That's one of the harmonious relationships commonly observed in nature, right? Wow, I'm impressed. And I'm lost. Hey, Genus, would you slip this back on Rain's bookshelf when she's not looking? Isn't this the one she gave you to read as homework? You're done with it already? No, I haven't even started it. I was hoping you could take a look and then teach me the important stuff. No way, Reed. You've got to read it for yourself if you want the contents to stick with you. Come on, please. Just looking at it makes me sleepy. Let's have a look. A beginner's guide to observing wildlife? It's got bigger print than Genus's and lots of pictures. My sister picked it out especially for you, Reed. All I need is my hunting to get by. Yeah, but you need knowledge to become a better hunter. Right? Studying is important for everybody. You see? Now sit down and read the book my sister gave you. For yourself. If only you could get full from studying. Who knows? You might be able to find some way to always be full. Maybe. Huh? Is there really a way? Studying is all about finding that out for yourself. Okay, let's get studying. Time to get full. Something about that seems a bit... off. Oh, well. Hmm. Well, let's see. Here it comes. Hey, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Welcome to Mistress Archie's Romance Hour. <laughs> I just asked Reed what his type was. Ooh, this sounds entertaining. Let's hear it. Omelets. Um, what? A girl who makes a good omelet, I guess. Curry would be nice, too. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You're choosing based on food? I was an idiot to ask Reed in the first place. It's not my fault I'm not really interested in dating. Yeah. I get to thinking that way myself sometimes. Well, how about you ask someone to introduce you to somebody? Yeah, maybe I will. Who do you know that makes good omelets? This isn't gonna work. Huh? What's the ruckus over there? Wonder what they're all doing. All right, who's the next challenger? I... I'll do it. No, no, Lloyd. Even for you, this is... Ugh! Kratos! I swear I'll avenge you. This is so bad. Wow, look at me! Undefeated! <laughs> uh. 
Is she laughing or crying? I can't tell. Looks like everyone was eating or cooking. You there! Quit your sneaking around and come test your might! Woohoo! I don't know what's going on, but I'm in! Down the hat! Ah! And another one bites the dust. You're up next. Or you can run away if you're too chicken. Hey! Whoa! You don't have to wolf it all down at once! Like I'd believe that coming from someone turning green. You can keep your sympathy. Well, guess I'll just pitch the rest. There is no rest. Where'd it all go? You got any more? Did you eat all that? What? Was I not supposed to? He practically licked the plates clean. <laughs> Looks like my cooking isn't so bad after all. All right, time to whip something up for Chester. <laughs> Uh, I think it's just Reed's unique digestive system. Hey, what can I say? Sure, we can pretend that was a compliment. You hick. Uh, not that again. What? What are you two arguing over now? There's no argument. I'm merely pointing out the plain truth to this hayseed. What part of my outfit is so out of style? I'm saying that your inability to even tell proves you're a hick. Ah, oh, shut up! I look cool like this, right? See? You hear that? It's just a different way of saying the same thing. No way! I'm unique! That's totally cool! I'm my own man! <sighs> and what about you is so hot, Leon? My clothes were either picked out by my parents or the help. They don't reflect my taste. Isn't it a little weird to rag on other people when you can't even dress yourself? Uh... <laughs> so you're like your parents' dress-up doll, huh, Leon? B be quiet! I... I'm leaving! Well, there he goes, into the tailors. I'd better hit them up, too. Hey, I see you use a bow, too. I'd love to see how you handle it. Oh, I'll have to watch you sometime. Well, I think you've still got a ways to go. You're a far cry from these two. Keep at it and you'll get the hang of it. I'd be happy to practice with you sometime. <laughs> I've still got a long road ahead of me as well. I'd love the company while practicing. Oh, please. If Gar here has a long road ahead of him, I'm still at the starting line. Come to think of it, I heard there was an archer living in I Lily too. You must mean Chester. There's nobody in I, Lily that can beat him in archery or little sisters. I don't know about sisters, but I'd love to meet him someday. Certainly. First, we need to secure Teresia's safety and open the lines of communication between our cities. All right. That's one more thing to look forward to after things quiet down. Let's get working. Man, times sure are tight here. No kidding. I'm so broke my dad has debt. I'm not sure I'll have enough to eat tomorrow. Oh, that reminds me. Lend me a thousand gold? I'll probably pay you back. <laughs> Were you even listening to me? Ugh, I give up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're here all week. What? Well, this is unexpected. Hey, whoa, what's wrong? The senseless avarice of depriving money from those already in need. Th that's what you'd call a setup, Philia. And then the desperate words, I give up. Oh, I've witnessed the crumbling of an innocent woman's world today. That would be the punchline? <laughs> Look, we're really not arguing here. Then it was a lie? You would deceive others and even deceive yourselves with words not spoken from the heart? All of this deviates horribly from the merciful path our goddess has set before us. I suggest you both repent. Man, that girl has no sense of humor. Well, anyway, lend me 1,500 gold? I probably can't pay you back, though. Come on, Rudy. That joke's done. And you keep asking for more! 
Oh, I give up. It's pretty sad that we're still doing these little acts even without an audience. You started this. Oh, I... That's all, folks. <sighs> Earnings are awfully low these days. I can just feel the stress giving me wrinkles. Wrinkles, huh? That's rough. That just means I'll have to show off my pretty face while it lasts. How about it? One gold a minute to look. What? You're charging? Then I'm not looking. Oh, how about five minutes for four gold then? What kind of wimpy discount is that? C calm down, please. Both of you. You mustn't fight. Oh, hi, Philia. And this isn't a fight. That's right. This is highway robbery. <laughs> is that what it looks like to a bumpkin like you? Oh, what to do with these country types? Shut up, you tightwad! Whatever the case, please, just separate yourselves. Fine, Philia, jeez. No need to get worked up. He's right, Philia. This is like our little way of saying hi to each other. I, I see. If that's the case, what's this pain deep in my heart just from their greetings? Luke! Tear! Oh, it's you. Whoa! Check out how high they've built this place up. I wonder if they've got elevators running up to the top. Luke. Huh? Oh, hey, it's you guys. I Lily was a little podunk town buried in tree roots, but this place has got everything. Yeah, it's a lot better than being cooped up back in I Lily. Here I can stretch my legs and take in the sights. Well, enjoy looking around. Are you sure that's what we should be doing? You don't think we ought to hurry back? What do I care? I'm going to have the time of my life. Heading home can wait. I wonder how long our money will last. Hmm? Tyr, you don't look too happy. It's nothing. Hi there. Oh, and Mormo and Gar, too. Hello. It's certainly a lovely day today. That's for sure. Ah! Uh, earthquake! Ah! Watch out! Thank you. Are you all right, Kunono? Helping people is our duty. I'd be of little use to them if I couldn't even offer this much support. I don't know. I'd say it takes a master to be able to move that quickly and gracefully during something like that. In any case, I'm glad you're safe. Wow. Man, that guy is cool. What's up, Gar? Why are you staring at Kanono? Hmm. Kanono, you've lost your memory, haven't you? Does that cause you much pain? Sometimes. But everyone is so nice to me, I've made lots of great new memories. <laughs> what was funny about that? I knew a girl with amnesia once. Very positive, though, like you. Seeing you, uh, I couldn't help but be reminded. She must have been pretty funny if you think back on her and laugh. Huh? <laughs> it was something of a sad memory, but you all have given me a smile. Oh, sorry for making light of it. No, don't apologize. It's foolish of me to be so caught up in memories at all. Thank you for saying so. Being caught up in memories is a privilege reserved for people without amnesia. Then I suppose being free of the weight of one's past is a privilege reserved for those with no memories. A very positive reply. I like that sort of thinking. Kanono, you really do resemble her. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, oh, you're welcome. <sighs> Leon, I guess he's sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I'm listening to the birds. Birds? I don't hear any birds around here. Close your eyes and concentrate, and you can pick out bird song from the street noise. It calms me. Whew! We made a killing today! Let's go blow it all! Or we could squirrel it away for a rainy day! <laughs> I rhymed! Ugh, oh, here comes the street noise. Well, hey! What are you all up to? Yeah, what's got you spaced out in a place like this, Leon? <laughs> I was just leaving. It would be a shame to let you boorish harpies spoil my enjoyment of the sublime. Is that so, nature boy? Maybe if I bought you a little birdie, you'd have someone to listen to you whine. Ugh, oh, it begins. 
I swear, if you two can't get along, why don't you just stay away from each other? Are these two always like this? Yeah, it's like it was hate at first sight. And then I'm the one stuck listening to her vent afterwards. Oh, keep away from me. You reek of gold digging. You got a good nose. How about you go sniff out some gold for me, just like other pigs get those fancy mushrooms? They're really in each other's face. They're almost close enough to kiss. Wouldn't that be something? Has this woman? I didn't know wavelengths came that shallow. They could fill books with what you don't know, you stuck-up little... Enough already. Let the kid be, Rudy. We've still got errands to run. I guess you're right. There'll be time to play with Mr. Gloomy later. <laughs> it's like they're so opposite they match. Hey, Leon! Hey, are you eating ice cream without me? Hmm? <coughs> don't, don't startle me like that. Well, you've got like ten scoops in there. <laughs> that means there's enough to share, right? Y you must be joking. Stay back. This is just right. No, it might need a bit more. Either way, are you sure you're okay eating that much? Here you are, Leon. Refill number three. Refill number three? Meaning this one is your fourth bowl? <sighs> oh, yes. On a normal day, Leon can get through at least five of these. It's quite a challenge keeping up. Philia, I've had enough for today. Let's give that one to these two. Yay! In return... I know, I know. The secret of your crazy sweet tooth is safe with us. <laughs> Hi, Philia. How's it going? Why, hello, Mormo. <sighs> I see Leon's in his usual mood. Silence! I don't have any time to waste on the likes of you. Move along. Leon, you mustn't say such things. <sighs> In cases like that, you should say, I'm terribly sorry, but I must attend to other matters. Please excuse me. That way you'll be sure not to hurt the other person's feelings. <laughs> right. Now you try. Are you insane? I'll say nothing of the sort. You mean, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm unable to fulfill your request. I am terribly sorry. I have to go now. Excuse me. There. Very well done. Ha! <laughs> you just blew him out of the water, Philia. Hey, Philia, what sort of person did you study under? My master? Well, no other scholar can boast the same wealth of extensive knowledge. Not even you, Philia? Certainly not. I'm still just a novice. I haven't even begun to approach my master's level of learnedness. I'm constantly awed by my master's boundless curiosity and effortless but nuanced innovation. Yes, my master is a wonderful person, and a fun one. I hope you get the opportunity to meet. Yeah, after all you've said, I can't wait. I only ask that you pass along my best regards when you do meet. la de dum da dum You're making me nervous, Ruti. <laughs> We snagged a bar girl who's even better than Kanono. Wow, it'd take a lot to compete with Kanono. This one's more mature, more stylish, and she's better suited to the atmosphere in here. Well, Kanono may be a bit girlish, but still. Plus, she sings like an angel. It's pulling in customers left and right. So I'll be starting here tomorrow morning? Actually, I was hoping you might be able to come in tonight, if that's all right. Understood. This evening, then. Tear. She said something about having no money because the guy she's traveling with is always buying stuff. Poor thing. You're giving her decent pay, right? <laughs> hey, that's not an answer. So, who do you think is the dreamiest guy in this ad libitum chapter? That's a no-brainer. Shall we all go at once? One, two, three, Gar! Surprise, surprise. I don't think I've ever touched this door here. He opens doors for you. He escorts you places. He pulls out your chair for you at restaurants and stands whenever you leave the table. He tips amazingly when he eats at our place, and I've never once seen him get drunk. He's damn near perfect.
I may be in the service of the goddess, but even I find myself struck by Gar's dashing refinement at times. I wonder if there's any way to snare him. Maybe get him to adopt one of the orphans or something. Be careful saying things like that around him. You know he'd do it. <sighs> he really is the perfect man. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I've got to go check on those kids. Gotta run! I need to reorganize the library. Hey! Don't leave me here! Hmm? That was certainly odd. And their faces were all quite red. <laughs> oh, he's at it again. Someone's bound to trip over him if he's asleep out here. <laughs> All right, let's give Ruti's method a try. Got my ladle? Got my frying pan? Rise from your grave! Yeah, I'm awake! I'll be done in just, just a minute! Wait, huh? Wakey, wakey! Yeah, I'm uh, awake. Ugh, what's this all about? Ugh. Ah, don't tell me you woke me up from an amazing nap for no good reason. What? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, Ruti was asking for you. Over there. Man, what does she want now? And why can't she come ask me herself? Oh, sorry, Ston. Sorry, Ruti. Hey, Senel! I didn't find her in Dopeland either. Shirley. Shirley? Is that your sister's name? Yeah. I heard there was a girl here who had lost her memory, so I came running. What are you doing, Mormo? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in the middle of something. No, you've got perfect timing. Senel, this is the girl with no memory. Her name's Kanono. Uh, she's... That's not Shirley. That's right. Keep looking and I'm sure you'll find her. I guess you're right. But I'm tired. Just let me rest a while. Senel! I haven't given up on finding her. I'll start the search again. Tomorrow. Did I do something I shouldn't have? No, it's not your fault at all, Kanono. It's nobody's fault. Oh man, what's up with this lame town? Hmm? Something wrong, Luke? Is it time for a tantrum again? Don't treat me like some kid! Look around! We're in the middle of nowhere! What do you expect us to do about it? Yeah, seriously! I'm on vacation here! Would it kill these people to have a few seedy attractions? Seedy attractions? Right? But aren't there lots of things out here that you can't see in the city? Like what? Clean air, the good cheer of simple folk, bountiful nature, and a host of cute little forest animals. I love cute little animals. Maybe that sort of emotional stimulus is just what you need, Luke. Oh, I'd rather die, seriously. Come on, let's go. Maybe we can find a puppy. What's got you all perky? Hey there, um... You're... Mormo, correct? My name is Annie Bars. That's right. Sorry, Annie. You think so? Well, thank you. Oh, she's blushing. She seems nice, like an actually normal human being. I'm currently studying to become a doctor, so don't hesitate to come to me if you're ever feeling unwell. Wow, that's awesome! Now I can gorge myself at every meal and not worry about tummy aches! I'm sorry, but veterinary medicine isn't my specialty. No. Hey, Senel! <sighs> Ugh, will you get over yourself? What did you say? I said to get over yourself! This whole city, this whole world is in danger! That's got nothing to do with me! Oh, really? Fine. I guess you can figure out what a dope you're being after the whole world gets destroyed!
You'll have plenty of time to find your sister once we're all dead, huh? What do you mean? I understand that your sister means a lot to you, but this whole world is on the brink, Senel. Still, Shirley's... That's right! The whole world is going up in smoke! Neither you or your sister is going to make it at this rate! <gasps> We're not telling you to give up on Shirley. Just to think about the big picture. First, help ad libitum. Then... Okay. Come on! The world is... Wait, did you just say okay? Yeah, you're right. Even if I found Shirley now, what life would we have? Exactly! Do it for your sister's sake. I understand. Sorry, Shirley. Just wait a little longer. Once this is over, I promise. Achoo! Hey! That's weird. All of a sudden, I'm snee, snee, achoo! Any fever or coughing? Achoo! Uh-uh. Just sneezing. Achoo! Then you could be allergic to my fur. I've met people like that before. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's not it. Achoo! Sorry. Achoo! Huh? That was a big one. You all right? Whoa! I just sneezed out a piece of my lunch. Wonder how that got back up there. I see. Then you're not allergic? <laughs> no, not a thing. I'm fine. Well, that's good then. Well, what the hell does that mean? <sighs> hey, don't leave me hanging here. I don't understand anything you're telling me. Luke, Tear, why are you fighting? We're not fighting. She says we might not be able to get home. Is it the Devourer? No, it's... we're... this isn't our world. See? Can you understand a thing she's saying? Does that mean you're both Descenders too? I'm not sure I know what that word means, but I never sensed anything like the mana in this world at home. So you're saying this place is a fundamentally different world from your home? I see. So they're from a different world, Trees. No. Maybe a world not created by a world tree at all. What the hell are you two talking about? Don't forget I'm here too. Give it a rest. I'm confused here too, you know? Complaining about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Well, it's all your fault we even got into this mess. All of it. Ugh. <sighs> what? More silent treatment? Fine. But let me tell you, time out! No kidding. This isn't going to get you anywhere. <sighs> I'm sure you've heard bits and pieces, but this whole world is in danger right now. Yeah, but... How is that my problem, right? But it is. If something happens to this world, we may never get home. Yeah, but it's still not my responsibility. No, it's not. It's all mine. I'm sorry. But it's not like I've given up. I still want to go home too, you know? Everyone cares about their home. We're no different. Okay, fine. If we don't fix up this world, we can't even keep looking for a way back, right? Right. All right, I guess I'll help. Looks like it's do or die time. Let's do some damage. Lose your cool and you'll be an easy target. Do you ever let up? I swear, I'm about two steps short of... Of what? Oh boy, they sure are a lively pair. Oh, oh. Luke, is it happening again? I'll go call for a doctor. Stay here. Relax. I'll be fine in a minute. Is something the matter? You don't look well. Yes, he gets migraines sometimes, but this one seems to be worse than usual. Leave it to me. I'm training to be a doctor. Okay, let's see. For headaches, it's best if you lie down. You can rest your head here on my lap. I'm fine. Hey, this is no time to be embarrassed, Luke. You can lay on my lap if that would be easier. It's my stomach that hurts. Oh. I see. Look, where's the can? That way. Ugh. Uh. Um... The broad temperature differences around here seem to disagree with many travelers. 
I'll try to be careful. There's no way! As it stands now, Ad Libitum isn't capable of handling the city's long-term needs. Why not recruit more members, then? Ad Libitum isn't very popular with the people here. There aren't many who are eager to join up. You can't just sit around here and expect them to come. Good things come to those who set booby traps. Booby traps? You can't mean... Killing and maiming the populace won't do much for Ad Libitum's reputation, Harold. Ugh! The trap is a metaphor! I'm saying we should be proactive. Have you made up any flyers? That's surprisingly reasonable, coming from her. It's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Wanted. New members of Ad Libitum. Looking for enthusiastic youths to join in the fight for a free tomorrow. How's that? It's awfully vague. Makes you wonder what you'll be forced to do if you join up, don't you think? Okay, I'll tack on errands and paperwork. Adroit, strong, and healthy applicants welcomed. That's not any clearer, is it? This is pretty hard. Let's make it more specific. Join a big cat face guy and a cute girl, along with the century's greatest genius, in making Gavada a fun city. What part of that is specific? Easy work. You're sure to discover a whole new you just by taking some pills and sleeping. What the heck are you planning on doing to these people? Oh, quit your complaining. We'll just add the pills are not suspicious at the end. That just makes it worse. Mm, let's forget about the recruitment campaign. Oh, come on. The path of scientific progress is always paved with a few bodies. There. It's complete. Eat up. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Taste and scent both clear the contamination limits handily. It's my latest invention. Safe and nutritious. Gather round, boys. Come one, come all. I've uh, already eaten, and I'm trying to cut back on snacks. I'll pass. Doesn't smell that bad, but you sure we can eat this? In theory, it should be enough to net generally positive results. Judging from the smell, eh, it should taste fine. What? You haven't tasted it yet? Yeah, I'll pass too. Huh. What's up with them? They could at least take a taste. Well, dig in while it's still hot. I can't make any guarantees once it's cooled. Huh? What happens when it cools off? Well, let's see. The oils and spices will break down, producing an extremely foul taste. Then bacteria will spread, spraying the decomposition process until it rots away completely. Suddenly I'm not so hungry. Huh? Well, that means it's down to you. I don't know what state you're describing with the term whack. If you're worried about possible negative effects upon the human body, your fears are misplaced. This isn't going to end until someone eats it. I'll give it a go. <laughs> well? It's a bit heavy, I guess. Pretty normal, I'd say. You see? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but with that lead-up, it sounded like some human experiment. Plus, this is you we're talking about. Hmm. I see. So extent biases precluded subjects from acknowledging food as food. That's useful data for next time. Harold sure doesn't let failure get her down. Whoa. That was pretty impressive growling. I guess that's to be expected considering your size. Watch out! It's Eugene, the terrifying, ravenous beast! Beast? One step too close, and he'll chew right through your bones! What? So God, you must really do eat what you'd expect? No, no I, I eat all sorts of things. All sorts of things. Fish. See, see? Everybody eats fish. And I like potatoes, too. Bread and other grains. Are you eating your vegetables? I'm a soldier. I wouldn't let personal tastes interfere with getting a well-balanced diet. Meaning you like to personally taste meat. I don't dislike it. Ah! It is a carnivorous beast! <clears throat> Eek! I'll be eaten for sure! <clears throat> it's going to bite my poor little head right off! Oh, whatever shall I do? <clears throat> Ah! Uh.
Maybe this was taking things a bit far. Harold looked like fresh prey getting dragged back to the beast's den. Oh, yeah! And when are you going to replace that lunch of mine you stole? <laughs> oh, give it up already! Look, I'm thankful, okay? It was pretty tasty. You can keep your thanks. I want my lunch back! Lunch thief! Hmm. This is my first experience as a thief. It's... It's missing something. Huh? What are you going on about now? Yes, it's just not robust enough. Try adding genius. Huh? Genius lunch thief? That's it! Oh, the sound of it! Sinister, but intelligent. I like it! All right, this time try it with Desperado. Hmm, that's a bit overwrought. Oh, but then it would have to be to express the full breadth of my character. Who wants to express the part of their character that steals lunches? I guess next comes a catchphrase, hmm? Behold, the alluring gumshoe with royal permission to eliminate up to three people to smell a lunch. You're just smelling it? And why would you have royal permission to kill anyone? And why three people? And when did you become a detective? What's wrong with you? Ugh, I can't keep up with it. This is exhausting. So, what was it you came to talk about anyway? Forget it. Hey, Eugene. You're looking well. Oh, right. That settles it. Eugene, let's hear your ideal woman. I have no clue what settles what, but I am a bit curious to hear Eugene's type. Aren't you, Annie? Uh, I'm certain it's none of my business. I'm a lifelong warrior. I don't have time for women. How old are you, Eugene? My age has nothing to do with it. This is why you're still single at 40, Eugene. I would think most normal men would be married before then. Sure you're not being too picky? I just haven't met a girl I could fall for. And what sort of girl might that be? A soulmate. Someone who understands. Ah, don't give me that. Ditch the cliches and get to the looks. Oh, pert ears and a supple tail, I guess. What? You've got a weird sense of humor. Oh? I'm surprised to meet a human with similar tastes. No. I've heard of guys like you. Weirdos into tails and animal ears and all that. I, I think that's something different entirely, though, don't you? Well, how about I whip up a new parasite that latches onto people and takes the form of ears and a tail? One that'll propagate its species from person to person, multiplying and spreading. Until the whole city is full of animal ears and tails. <laughs> It's Eugene's own private fantasy world. I told you that looks are secondary to what's inside. Yeah, but you also told us you're into ears and tails. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Huh? What's got all of you huddled together like that? Shh! We're telling ghost stories. In the cabin was a cup of steaming hot coffee even though the ship had been deserted for years. Huh? Uh, no way! It's true. I ran into that ship back in my training days. Oh. N no I'm fine. Then how come you're shaking? I just caught a little chill is all. All right. Time for my personal favorite. This was back at the manor. Oh. One night... My servant was running away from the maids when he found himself in the courtyard. Why was his servant running away from the maids? There was no moonlight at all, and a strange fog had settled in all over the manor. Suddenly, he felt someone creeping up behind him. He slowly started to turn around when all of a sudden... Achoo! Boom! Jeez, that scared me. Man, and I was just getting to the good part. <laughs> Sorry about that. Huh? Annie? You okay, Annie? Oh. She's passed out standing up. Say, Annie. What's wrong? Eugene's been staring this way the whole time. 
Did I do something? Why don't you just ask him? Eugene, is anything the matter? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I lost myself for a while there looking at your face, Annie. What? You were staring at Annie? With my adorable face right here? <laughs> That's pretty weird. I don't see anything weird about it, Mormo. Now, what about my face? How old are you now, Annie? Me? I'm 15. Hmm. Your face has matured. I can see your father in you. What? That, that's a horrible thing to say. Why? I thought you really liked your dad, Annie. That has nothing to do with this. D do I really look like my father? Oh, you don't even know what my parents looked like. Does she really look like him, Eugene? Yeah, especially when she gets upset like that. I can't believe you'd all get together to pick on me like this, if you'll excuse me. Now you've done it. I guess that would get anyone a little mad. Huh. I thought she'd be happy to hear it. Ladies can be difficult. Indeed. <sighs> Thinking about your sister again? <sighs> Man, he's got it bad. Is someone ill? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Senel is depressed, isn't he? Doctors are charged with patients' physical and mental welfare. Leave it to me. Good luck. Um, Senel? Hmm? Uh, how are you feeling? Okay. Uh, come now, cheer up. Moping around won't get you anywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, um... <sighs> I'm no good at this. That's not true. But I wasn't able to help poor Senel at all. Well, what are you saying? He's all better now, aren't you, Senel? Huh? Oh, yeah. 110% better. Thanks, Annie. Do you mean that? Are you sure you're not just saying it? What? Uh, no way. It's all because of your compassion. Thanks, Annie. Really. See? You're the greatest doctor in Gavada. Sennel's like a new man. Great. Anytime you're feeling down again, don't hesitate to come talk to me. Yeah, okay. But now you can't just go around moping all the time anymore, can you? No kidding. She's some doctor. Tell me, Mormo. Does your world have some form of royalty? A bloodline that unites and leads your people? Hmm? No, we didn't have a king or anything in my world. Oh, really? Then it was a republic ruled by the masses? That's quite a progressive world. I don't know about republics or progressive or whatever. It was more like we didn't think of ourselves as a country. How marvelous! One united body politic and one not reliant upon a divine right of monarchy, but rather ruled by the will of the people. Well, it, it wasn't anything that impressive. We just all kind of hung around. There was no real fighting to speak of. And ethics guided the citizens' lives. That's an invaluable model for the direction I ought to take my own land. Um, happy I could help? <laughs>